Amen. This is Prophet West coming back to you again on Periscope. Uh, on yesterday, as I told you that every time I come on here, I am going to say a word of prayer. And I'm going to be brief, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pray. And those that have a need and, and those that, that, that tune in and listen, um, I'm touching and agreeing with what it is that you are believing God for. And we're in a day and time that we need to pray. We have to pray. It's imperative that we pray. Uh, the Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. And the thing and the significance of praying is, is praying is, is like, it's like I'm making a phone call to someone. Uh, and once you dial that number, you have a direct connection. And the thing about it, when you begin to pray constantly and consistently, what you're doing, you become in, in direct connection with your maker. You, you're becoming in direct connection with God, uh, which means that what it will do is that it will keep us in tune with God and with the sound waves in his mind. We'll know what he's feeling and know what he's, he's saying, because also praying will cause and serve as liken unto a computer. Oftentimes in, on a computer, uh, you will have what you call pop-ups. And in those pop-ups, there are certain ads and advertisements uh, that, 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 are, that come up on your screen. And the purpose of it is to get you to click on and to buy into their product. But oftentimes, there are viruses that come in the form of pop-ups, which means that if you click upon those uh, virus uh, on those pop-ups, then uh, uh, what will happen is that that virus will begin to download into your computer and your computer will get a virus and it will shut down your computer. And so the purpose of prayer and, and staying close to God and reading your Bible, it serves as a virus protection or it serves as a pop up blocker, which means that the Bible tells us that we're not ignorant concerning the, the, the tactics of the enemy. It tells the Bible tells us to watch as well as pray. That means that to, to watch means that your eyes are open. That means you're, you're vigilant. You're, you're aware. You're aware of your environment. You're aware of what's around you. And prayer will keep you and make you and, and help you to constantly become aware of your environment. And so that's why prayer is so important. And prayer is a pop-up blocker because it invites God into your life. It keeps God into your life consistently. It's romance. It's a romance. It's a romance. It's a romantic moment. It's a romantic hour. It's just like with your spouse in the natural. When you spend time with your spouse, you, you, it's romance. When you, you know, you're having a dinner or you're having drinks or you're going to the park or you're going to the movies, what you're doing, you're, you, that, what that is, that's romance. You're romancing your spouse. You know, you're learning each other. You're doing things together. You're enjoying each other. And in like manner with God, when you're praying, what you're doing, you're romancing God. And what is that, what is happening is that uh, God is speaking. God is speaking. God is speaking. You're speaking. You're speaking. You're becoming more intimate with God. You're becoming more in tune with God. You're hearing his vibrations even more, more and more and more. And so that's why prayer is so important. The Bible tells us we have to pray for in this day. God is repositioning his people. And that means that he's restoring us back to our original place. He's restoring us back to our original form, even in our relationships, even in our life, even in our hopes, and even in our faith. Because many of you, as people of God, you have been hurt. Many of you, as people of God, you have been knocked down. Uh, you are experiencing many troubles and traumas in your life, troubles in your relationships, troubles uh, in your heart, troubles in your focus, troubles in your bills. But what God is doing, the Bible says that if the enemy be thought if the enemy be caught, he must repay seven times and your enemy has been caught. And so now it's time to pursue is pursue is time to take back what was what's taken from us. And God said he is he will restore back what the canker worms and the locusts has taken away. So it's a time for God to, to receive those things that was taken, to receive back those things uh, that, uh, that 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 was taken from us. And the way to get them is to go get it is to go get it with faith. And so I'm going to pray right quick. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. We bless you and we magnify your name. God, your name is worthy. Your name is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. God, your name is worthy to be praised. God, we thank you, God, for your name, for your name is a strong tower and the righteous run therein and safe and secure. God, God, we thank you for your power. God, we thank you for your feathers. God, you cover us in your feathers. God, you hide us in your pavilion in the time of trouble. God, God, we thank you, God, for there's a cry in the land. 
land. There is a cry among your people. There's a cry among your chosen. And you say it in the word, God, that when the righteous cry, you will hear and deliver, God. For there's a cry, God. There's a cry of deliverance, God. For there's a cry of help, God. For there's a cry of change, God. And God, hear our prayer, God. And for those, God, that have specific petitions, specific prayer requests, specific prayer requests in their body concerning health, specific prayer requests in their home concerning their relationship, specific prayer requests concerning their focus and their vision and their desires, their hopes and their dreams, God. God, for those people, God, I ask and I pray, God, that you meet their need name by name and one by one, God. God, God, because the, you, uh, you, you, there's nothing that's too hard for you to do, God. God, you take the I am off of impossible, God, and you make it all possible, God. And we thank you for it, God, before you're the all-sufficient one. God, you're all shout yeah, God. God, there's nothing too hard for you, God, for man count slackness, but concerning you, you count, you're not slack concerning your promises, God. And you said, God, get, if we touch and agree that two people would touch and agree as in anything that they ask, it shall be done, God. And so right now, God, right now, now in the name of Jesus, uh, right now con- according to your word, God, right now according to your grace and your mercy, God, right now I touch and agree, I touch and agree with those people that have a need, God, I touch and agree with your word, God, that you said it would happen, you said ask and it shall be done, seek and you shall find out and it shall be opened, God, God, we ask that you open up your windows, uh, open up your windows of life in their life, uh, open up your windows of heaven in their situation, God, God, work a miracle out in their life, God. God, show them God. Show them that you're almighty, God. Show them that you have power to deliver and set free from everything, God. God, we thank you. God, we speak against the hearts that are disobedient, God. God, we speak, God, we speak, we speak healing. God, we speak healing. We speak healing, God. We send your anointing out. Send your anointing out into their heart, God, and that heart, heart, and that stony heart. God, ask that you go into their heart, God, and turn it around, God. Shape it and move it, God, God, and make it a heart of flesh, God, that they might love again, God. God, for those uh, that are walking around for many years with stubbornness, uh, with walking around for many years with bitterness, for walking around for many years with, with, with unforgiveness in their heart, God. God, ask, uh, ask that you ask that you uh, give them the desire. God, God, ask that you speak to them that let them know that, that they have to let it go uh, if they want to be blessed, uh, if they want to receive what you have for them. Uh, they got to let it go. Uh, I speak against the unforgiveness heart. Satan, loose your hole right now. Let them go in the name of Jesus uh, for the acts head is laid at the root for God belong they belong to God and God has summoned them to come out come out of that bitterness come out of that pride come out of that hurt come out of that condition come out of that 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 ungodly soul tie where you feel trapped where you feel like you're in a prison and you can't get out you can't get away you can't get through but for the name of Jesus God sent a shaking in their prison wall God God sent a shaking in their prison God and caused their gates to come open and snatch them out of that curse, huh? snatch them out of that ungodly soul tie. In the name of Jesus, I, I speak the blood, huh? for the blood of Jesus is applied to their life. Huh? Come out, huh? come out with victory, huh? come out with joy, huh? come out with newness of life. In the name of Jesus, I pray and I thank you and I bless your name, God. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Heaven smile on you and may all God's best be yours.